the volcano from erupting, Mummy. Well, I'm afraid you're asking the wrong person, dear. Uh, anyone who lives near Mount St. Helens can tell you I know how to stop one, but to reverse the spell, I, I have no idea. But, Mummy, the spell that the demons cast over the house is surrounding us, and it's not letting any of my powers out, and we can't get out. How are we going to save Harmony? Save Harmony? Forget Harmony. What about us? We can't get out of here. And when the lava flows over our house, we're, we're both going to die in screaming agony. We're trapped. We're trapped like rats. Oh, I knew someone was going to say that. Please don't kill me. I'm a mother. That won't help you. I was a mother too. Remember? But because of your mother, my children are dead. Say goodbye, Teresa. Well, I don't know how you survived in an ocean full of hungry sharks. But killing you again will give me great pleasure. And then once you're dead, I will set off that bomb. And then Pilar and everyone you love upstairs will be instantly vaporized, including your beloved Ethan. If anyone knows reason why this couple should not be joined... You already said that. Did I? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I, with all these weddings tonight, I'm getting a bit confused. We're awfully late. But I'm glad we came. Yes, he may not be my son, but I raised him, and I want to be here for this recommitment ceremony. Since no one objects to these proceedings, we'll continue with the ceremony. Thank God Sam's video camera is broken or Gwen and I would be up a creek. All our secrets are on it. And if they were revealed, this wedding would come to a screeching halt. I did it, I think. Let me see. I think I fixed it. Thanks. Let's see if we can rewind. Uh, Ethan and Gwen join hands and we'll move on to your vows. Ethan. Wait, I'm sorry, stop. Ethan. What was that? What? What are you doing? You can't stop now. What's happening? Is it a sign to stop the wedding? Oh, I should have followed my instincts. It's all my fault. I knew we should have left. I knew death and disaster was coming to harmony. I, I should have insisted we leave, and now we're going to die in here. No, stop blaming yourself, Mommy. If we hadn't stayed, you wouldn't have been able to do so much good. Just think of all those lives you saved in the church. Oh, yes, they're all going to die anyway, and I've lost my powers. I can't even help you break the demon's lockdown spell. We're going to die in this bloody house. Wait a minute. Where is it? We can't get out, but maybe we can bring help in. Is this another earthquake? Or is this a sign that the gates of hell are opening for you, Teresa? Prepare your soul. You know my only regret? is that I couldn't make you suffer more, that I couldn't kill your beloved Ethan before your eyes. Oh, God, please send someone to help me. I don't want to die. <laughs> Everyone dies. You know, one small bullet would shut your mouth forever. No. You don't want to do you were for a church. God is watching. My mother, she said that you were a good person, that you were a loving friend. Can't you just remember what that's like? Please. You have to let all those people live. I can't do that. I have waited for this moment for decades. 
I, you know what? Just kill me. And let all those people live. Just spare my family and everyone else upstairs. And just kill me. Why would that satisfy me? Everybody already believes you are dead. No, I think of killing you as sort of tidying up before the main event. The ball. I know our hearts are one. I know we share this connection. Please listen to me, Ethan. You can't hear me. No, you can hear me. Your heart told you that I'm alive. I am alive, Ethan. But I am in terrible danger. Oh, shut up, Alex. I need you to help me. I need you to help me, please. Ethan, why did you stop the ceremony? You better not back out on my daughter. No, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Please, Ethan. I'm alive. Help me. Help me. Give me Listen to me, Ethan. I need you to hear me. I need you to help me. Please, you know. Shut up! No one can hear you, and I am tired of your whining. You are going to die, and there is nothing your lover can do to help. With any luck, that will give you a power boost. Do you really think that'll work? Well, I don't know. Anything's worth a try. I certainly don't want to be burned to death again, thank you very much. Okay, I'll try. I wonder where Julian and Eve went. In God's name? Believe me, he has nothing to do with it. Hello, Daddy. Don't worry. A bullet in the brain won't hurt a bit. Prepare to die. Ethan, please don't back out on me now. Why did you stop Father Monaghan? Teresa. What? Don't say that. Just stop treating my daughter this way. Marry her right now. It's not making any sense. You two, just calm down, and, and I'll talk to you, Ethan. Okay, okay, you are causing a scene, Ethan. Mother, listen to me. Don't, don't think I'm crazy here, okay? But Teresa was whispering. She was whispering okay, in my Ethan, ear. No, no, honey. We can discuss the existence of ghosts at another time. It wasn't a ghost. Ethan, I know you love Teresa, I know. But she is dead, and she is not coming back. Now, I know I never approved of your relationship with her, but that really doesn't matter now. You, you are an honorable man, and you are a man of your word, and you have promised to marry Gwen. You need to fulfill that promise. I'll see that Harmony hasn't changed very much. Is there ever a wedding without interruptions around here? All that matters is that you get to the I do's eventually. Make up your mind, Ethan. The whole family has to get out of harmony before Juanita finds us and kills us all. If Ethan doesn't renew his vows with Gwen... No, 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 that's a pipe dream. But it's Teresa's dream. If Ethan is still available when Juanita is caught someday, my daughter could still have a future with him. Julie. What just happened? Why did this girl call you daddy? Oh God, I must have had a blackout. But I'm clean, Julian. I swear I'm clean. How did we get here? Uh, young lady. It's me, daddy. Andora. Hi, 
how you grow. <laughs> That's the understatement of the year. <laughs> well, my powers are a bit unstable at the moment. I changed into my teenage self, and I can't figure out how to change back to my normal age. But Tabitha, is that normal for your kind? Normal? Oh God, did I take some hallucinogenics by accident? Oh God, knows what that Vincent forced me to take. No, I haven't been drinking. God. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Change, damn you, change! I like it when you and Daddy are together. <laughs> this is a complete nightmare. Ethan cannot stop the wedding again. I mean, he, he just can't. Honey, shut up and smile. He just did. What's going on? That is what I'm trying to find out. Don't be this stupid. Okay. It's not fair to her. You're right. All right. Okay. Suck it up. Do the right thing. <sighs> Father, I'm, I'm ready to continue the ceremony. Oh, okay, great. Then, then let's finish this up. <laughs> The renewal of marriage vows is a very special modern ceremony with a history that dates back... Okay, Father, can you please maybe just, like, skip to the I do's? It's really, it's all that matters anyway. Okay. If you say so. Thank you. She does. Gwen, do you recommit your marriage vows? Do you take Ethan to be your lawfully wedded husband through sickness? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Way to go, girl. Ethan, do you recommit your marriage vows? Do you take Gwen to be your lawfully wedded wife? Yes, Father, I do. <laughs> then let all here witness that I reconsecrate your marriage and I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Teresa's dream of a life with Ethan is over. There's nothing that could make Ethan leave Gwen now. What was that? Who screamed? Help me. Help me. It's Teresa. My God, something's wrong with Teresa. What? I know you haven't been drinking. It's all right. And I, I know she looks a bit different, but this is Endora. And she's, uh, she's my daughter. What? We haven't got time to explain, Julian. This is an emergency. Disaster is heading for harmony, and Endora's magical powers are out of control. Now, you know, a, a parent's influence on their children has a stabilizing effect, right? Well, my theory is a, a possible way to stop this disaster is if you and I concentrate all our parental love for Endora on Endora, thus giving her a firmer magical foothold. Magical powers? What's going on? A bit slow on the uptake, isn't she? Hmm? Look, I, I know it sounds crazy, but I, oh god, I think Teresa needs our help. Yeah, she's dead. What kind of help could she need? Ethan, this is my wedding day. I cannot believe all you can think about is Teresa. No, no, I'm sorry, Gwen. I'm sorry. Didn't you hear that? Something came from the basement. My god, we, we got to go down there. Do not leave me at the office. Gwen, I'm sorry. Something's going on. She's in trouble. I'm going down. You know, 
I should have known this was too good to be true. Teresa is probably downstairs setting off fireworks in the basement. We should have killed her when we had the chance. Oh, my God. My gun exploded. Oh, my head. Oh, the pain. Excuse me, I've never felt such pain. Ah. Look, you show me how to stop that bomb and I will get help. I will get an ambulance for you right away. You cannot stop the bomb. Everyone here is going to die. Julia? I don't understand why everyone keeps talking about magical powers. Oh, we don't have time for an explanation. Why didn't you leave the good doctor at the church? Well, darling, you might as well know the whole story, you see. Tabitha is a witch. Tabitha was a witch. I've lost my powers. You're mad. No, she's my hero. You're alive because of her. Mummy went to the church last night when everyone died because of Vincent and Vicky's poison mushroom sauce. She sacrificed her powers to save everyone's life. Can we get back to business here, please? My sacrifice is going to be meaningless if we don't stop the disaster that is about to engulf harmony. Stop the bomb, please. You cannot blow up the house of God. Oh, what has God ever done for me? Anyone? You really are a slow murder, Teresa. If I can't shoot you, you will die here in church with everyone else. Someone's coming. I've got to get out of here. Sister! Yes, my son, I must be gone. Oh, I'll let her go. Oh, my God, you're alive. Not for long, my son. Soon you will all die. What? Ethan, I'm... But well, there is a bomb. You, you lost your powers. Well, I'm so sorry. You're sorry? Hey, hey, wait a minute. If Endora is your daughter, that means you and Tabitha, and you, and Julian. Oh, my God, you slept together. It's amazing she got through medical school. Is there a woman in harmony that hasn't slept with you? Darling, please. I'm not proud of it, but, I mean, it, it was a long time ago. But there were some very strong drinks involved. Oh, that's always your excuse. Stop it. Can't you see the man loves you, you silly nincompoop? Anyway, we haven't got time for this. We have got more important things to worry about. This town is going to be demolished. And if we don't stop it, we're all going to die. Don't let that nun go. I got her. You're alive. You're alive? Yeah, Ethan, there's a bomb. My heart told me that you were alive, and I wouldn't believe it. There's a bomb, Ethan. Do you want to have dreams? I want this moment. Uh, wait a minute. She's wearing Gertrude's clothes. Yes, Gertrude was Teresa in disguise. All this time? Since Mexico. Mama, you told me not to mourn Teresa. Yes, because I knew she was alive. So did I. We couldn't say anything because if Juanita Vasquez found out, Teresa would become another target. Mm. 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 This can't be happening. Ethan knows Teresa's alive and he's kissing her. Do you have your cell phone? Because we have got to call Juanita Vasquez so she can kill Teresa. It's a miracle two Lopez Fitzgeralds back from the dead in one night. 
We've got a lot of kids. We'll have to do this. <laughs> yeah, but first we need to get rid of the bomb. Right now. Yes. And it's a big one. Kaboom. It's a big call. Well, you're not going anywhere. You're not none. Hey, Juanita Vasquez. Juanita. Oh, God. Juanita. Oh, it took you long enough to recognize me, you fool. Juanita Vasquez, you're under arrest. No. I have to have yours. Good going, Sam. You know what this means? That the Harmony Police Department finally solved their first case? This isn't over. You are going to die, Bill. You and your entire family are going to die. No one's going to die. The miracle father. After all these years, finally my family is safe. You are so stupid, Bill. The threat is not lifted. There, there's a bomb. There's a bomb. A real bomb. And you need to get out of here. If you don't, you're all going to die. Now, Tabitha, would you speak plainly? What sort of a disaster are you talking about? How could Harmony be destroyed? Oh, well, let us count the ways. Yeah, look in the bowl. See for yourself. <gasps> oh, God, is it... Is that magic? Oh, God. What is... Try to keep up, Eve. What, what is this? That is Mount Harmony. What do you mean, that extinct volcano? Does it look extinct, Julian? It's erupting, Daddy, and the lava's headed straight for us. So that's what all that rumbling was about. Oh, finally, the pen is dropped. Yes. And if we don't stop it erupting, Harmony is doomed. Do you know what that plastic explosive will do to this structure? It will blow you all to kingdom come. Everyone needs to get out of here right now, please. She's right. We, we really need to leave. Teresa, I'm not going to lose you now. Where are the keys to her handcuffs? I don't have them. Liar. I don't think she has them. Maybe she's telling the truth. No, no come on. There's no time to lose. You're not going to lose, Teresa. we got to disarm the damn bomb. Well, how are we going to get her out of here? Huh? Cut off her hands? Yes! But we'll run out of time, okay? The only way we're going to get out of here is if we disarm this bomb. Do you see? My revenge goes forward no matter what. You're a sick woman. My family will be just fine. Everyone, please, get out! No, 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 no. I'm not leaving. No, you have to go. Ethan, please think of the children. No, Teresa, have hope. All right, I'm, I'm going to disarm the bomb is what I'm going to do. Yeah, are you crazy? You are not a bomb expert. We need to leave. I'll be damned if I'm going to leave Teresa here alone to die. You'll be damned no matter what you do. Oh, someone shut her up, please. Look, all we got to do is, is stop the clock without the bomb going off, right? Good luck. Hey, Ethan, really, we need to leave. You cannot do this. I'm sorry, Gwen. I'm staying. I'm staying. But I think everybody else should get out of here. Seriously. No, no. Get out of here now, everybody. Okay, you heard him. Everyone get out of here, okay? Save yourself. I won't leave my daughter to die alone. Neither will I. I'm staying here to help Sam and Ethan. Yeah, ditto. Ditto. Uh, ditto. Ditto. No, 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 Paloma. You gotta go outside and be safe, all right? No, I'm not, Noah. That's my sister, and I'm a trained police officer. Well, I'm not leaving without Luis. And I'm not leaving without Miguel. Well, guess what? I'm not leaving without Antonio. Wow. If you think I'm going to leave after everything I did to get you back... This isn't funny. We are all going to die. We are not all going to die. Think of the children. They're up in the nursery right now. The little Ethan and Jane and Jonathan and Maria and Marty, please. I'll, I'll take the children. Just uh, call me Mother Rebecca. I'm going to die because of Teresa. And on my wedding day. Carefully, go! Die. Let's use our air voice. Okay, sorry. One, two, three. Ethan, can you stop the clock?
is going to erupt. Consuming our countryside and running rampant over harmony into the sea. How do we stop it? Well, this is a long shot, I know. But if your father and I concentrate all our parental love on you, perhaps our united forces will be enough to stabilize your powers and boost them at the same time. If, if we give you enough oomph, you might be able to stop the volcano erupting. It's our only hope, so, so take, take in Dora's hand, Julian. Come on now. The goo can't expect anyone to stay sober. Do anything like this? Can they? I've almost got it working. Well, here you are. Why are you hiding in here? Come on, we gotta get out. Where did everyone go? Kid, we have got to get out. There is a bomb in here. A bomb? No way. Where's Sam? I've almost got his camera fixed. You forget about that camera. You cannot fix it. I already have. Look, kid, I... Little Ethan. Look, there is a bomb here. And I not only have to save my own behind, but now i got to save you. So, listen, be a good kid, a, a big boy, and just, just come with any... Perfect. Come on. Wait, i got to get the camera. But forget about the camera. The bomb is going to destroy the evidence. Let me go. The, the, there is a bomb, you silly fool. Then where's my mom? <gasps> then you did know all along that she was alive. Where's everyone else? Forget about them. They're history. Come on. <laughs> Gosh, there's so many wires in here. Do you know what they all do? Uh, no. Great. Don't worry, I'm gonna figure this thing out. Quickly, I hope. Can't believe you're here. Oh, I'm just so happy I don't see this disguise anymore. Oh, and this is over. You've got a lot to fill me in. Okay, there's still time to run here? Not really. It's almost down to a minute. Uh, D9, D8, D7. Ethan, honey. If you're going to disarm the bomb, now would be a really, really good time. Concentrate, Endora. Feel the love of your father and mother coursing through your veins. Would you listen to me? That's what I know about love. What, Mommy? Everything I know about love, I've learned from you. I'm <laughs> in big trouble then. Come on, Endora. Tap into our strength and cast your spells. Stop the volcano erupting. Okay. Hellish lava, cause of disaster. Obey the call of your latest master. Reverse, reverse, reverse. I know a great cocktail called a volcano. You'll be all right, darling, and Dora will fix it. Well, that's, uh, we'll go and go to die in screaming agony. It's just a thought, perhaps you'll keep those comments to yourself. The love, Julian. Focus on the love for coursing through your veins. There's just, there's just too many wires. I mean, if I pull the wrong one, it's going to blow. You're going to blow up anyway. <laughs> what the hell do I do? Take a chance, Ethan. Trust in God. Oh, God, never build a bomb, Father. God will never let you down. Ten. Nine. Eight. Teresa, whatever happens, I love you. Five. Four. Three. It didn't work. It stopped. Stopped. Do you think that's enough? I hope so. 
to do it, sweet pea. You know, the powers are already weakened after your battle with the demon elf. Demon elf? Later, later. Eve, uh, we shouldn't break contact with Endora. Would you mind looking in the magic bowl and, and seeing if her spell worked? Is, is bigger than ever. Damn it, hell! Oh, what's your language, Endora? Oh, don't worry about your language. We're all gonna die anyway. I can't believe I didn't see through the Gertrude disguise. But it makes sense now. Every single time I was around Gertrude, I was thinking about you. It's really hard for me to be near you. I just wanted to tell you the truth so badly, but, you know, I couldn't. Who's Juanita, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. She would have killed me. She would have killed my family. And the DEA wanted me to give evidence against her in court. You will be dead before I ever get to court. Oh, shut up. Your sick plans are finished. Say, if Juanita is caught, we don't have to leave Harmony. <laughs> That's right. Although our trip around the world will still be fun. I know. Well, we'll figure it out. I'm just so happy that my family is finally safe. Well, why don't you worry? Juanita here is going to be in complete lockdown until the international police come to get her. Hmm. That's right, Chief. You're not going to escape. You know that, right? You're going to jail where you're going to rot. I will not rest until every. Lopez Fitzgerald is dead. I failed. That's not right. I don't fail ever. No, no. Type A personality. Yeah, that definitely comes from your side of the family, Julian. Don't worry, sweet pea. Don't blame yourself. We expected too much of you. It's all my fault anyway. If I had my powers, I could have helped. We could have done it together. You know, I did feel a little boost when the three of us were holding hands. Maybe there just aren't enough of us. Mommy, we could, we could bring Kay here. We could combine our powers and, and Maria, too. Yeah. Kay and Maria are witches? All the Standish women have powers. Charity and Grace had them too, only they didn't know how to use them properly. Kay has enormous powers. She just can't control them, they keep getting away from her. She once saved us from the dark side all by herself. <laughs> what is the dark side? <laughs> oh, just start drinking again, Eve. You'll soon find out. You'll think you're seeing things, and you really will be. Oh, thank God that my family's in New Orleans. It would just be awful if my children were in danger. That's it. Children. Children. Eve, Eve, come here. Hold Julian's hand and, and, and focus on your love for your children. Even Vincent? Especially Vincent. He counts as two children. Perhaps another mother's love, combined with ours, will be enough to boost Indora's powers. Hit it. Hit it, Indora. Okay. Hellish lava, cause of disaster, obey the call of your latest master. Reverse, reverse, reverse. It's working! Oh, Indora! It's working! So now that Juanita is captured, all of our dreams can come true. And we can be a family. My oh, darling. This is the real miracle, Father. All of my children have someone to love. And someone who loves them. <laughs> Someone who will love them forever. Well, aren't you getting ahead of yourself? W what? Ethan told me that if he recommitted to me, that that he would never leave me. The wedding was interrupted. Not 
this time. Ethan, we said our I do's. Father Lonigan pronounced us husband and wife. You are my husband from thick and thin. You, you can't leave me now. But, um... You took vows. You can never leave me for Teresa. that to, uh, to me, to Auntie Rebecca. No, you'll only break it. Yeah, well, uh, that's the idea. Give me back the camera. Don't you give it to me. Let's go. Gwen, don't do this. Ethan is mine. Oh, oh, you know that's not true. Ethan swore to me that he would never leave me once we renewed our vows, and we did. So Ethan is is my husband for life, and, and, and you're just out of luck. Tell her she's wrong, please. I promise. Come on. After everything that I've been through. I made a vow to God. I did. I made a vow to God. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm married. Married to Gwen. So after all of this, I lost you? <laughs> oh, this is marvelous. I still have some sort of revenge. Teresa has been kept from the man she loves forever. This is worse than dying. I've lost Ethan to Gwen forever. The volcano's going to erupt right here in the living room! Little Ethan is your biological son. See, Lieber, everybody, you have to see what's on this camera. We know how to stop the disaster. Timmy told us how to save Harmony.